Hello guys, in this video I will show you how you can make Resile Builds counter with progress bar in UFN. So uh, you can see that bar is going right now and timer 2 and if I will build something uh, when the timer will finish all the builds will disappear. You will see it right now. Yeah, so yeah, just like that. You can use this for your red versus blue map or the pit or something. So yeah, and before I will show you how you can make it in UFN, I want to uh, shout out uh, the guy uh, who posted uh, this tweet on his Twitter account, uh, and he showed his uh, receptibles counter like this, and I got the idea from this guy, so yeah, this is why I'm basically making this video. And I uh, also want to shout out a YouTuber who made a video on how to make circular progress bars in UFN. And yeah, that's it. Let's go into UFN and I will show you how you can make reset builds powder with progress bar like this. Okay, so I opened UFN right now and first thing you should do is go to a content drawer and make a new folder and, and call it, uh, for example, reset progress bar. And then double click on it and import all the assets that you will get when you will buy if you want to buy my zip folder with all the assets for this video. It will be called circle progress bar and here you just import all the, the textures and after this just open your in file explorer and file explorer open uh, the circle progress bar again and you will see uh, two text files first one is a build reset verse you should open it copy it add new verse file to project call it reset builds Click create empty, click save selected, then double click on reset build uh, verse and paste your code right here. Then click control S on your keyboard to save it. Then click verse build verse code, uh, just like that. And then you should go back to your file explorer, copy this material just like that. And then right here you should create a material, call it pro progress bar mat, uh, double click on it, click on the progress bar mat node, change that blend mode to translucent, shading mode to unlit, and then click apply. And after this, just paste the code right here. You will get all the nodes, and you should connect LERP to emissive color, and saturate to opacity. Then click apply, click continue, then close this, and here you should add the material parameter collection, call it progress progress count, then double click on it, add scalar parameter, call it progress. Then double click on the material, and right here select the progress count, and turn your name to progress. Click apply. And then create a you know, create material instance from this, and call it progress bar material, material instance. Uh, double click on this material, and you will see this, this screen. Maybe, maybe you will see this. Uh, that means that you should change the preview node to view mesh to plane. Then I would I would recommend to change the mission to three, and uh, foreground texture to your liking. For example, for a blue lightning's a circle progress bar texture. And yeah, just click save, and then you can preview this thing by putting a node, putting a plane. I wish I to three. Uh, then rotating it, then just moving it up and dropping material instance on it and then if you will open the progress count you will see that progress bar is working right now and yeah i will leave it to zero for right now uh the next thing you should do is copy this bar like like, like that and drag the white outline for reset bills on it just like that and then go to your material to this material and connect rgb to emissive color now it looks way better. And then click change the size to 3.25 and 3.25. And then move it back, uh, for example, like this. And it looks uh, cool already. Then you should just add the devices. Before you will add devices, you should add the cinematic sequence, a level sequence, and call it progress animation double click on it 
the sequence here will pop up and you should add material parameter collection track and select progress count and here add the progress and just change the length of the animation to the minutes you want like you want to wait before the reset builds right so for me it's one minute and one minute is 60 seconds and one second is 30 fps so it's 30 uh you should multiply 30 by 60 and you will have 180 that means that you should uh, change the length to thousand and eight hundred uh, just like that and then just select this uh, progress count progress make sure it's zero at the beginning and it's and it's uh and it's one at the end so basically we just made the animation for your build counter yeah, okay, so just save it. Then add cinematic sequence device. Go to all and search for cinematic. Just drag and drop it. And here, select the animation. So this is progress animation. And then uh, you should add timer, timer device. Drag it right here. So then change the color to liking. I will change it to black. I mean the color of the, of the timer because it looks cool for me. I don't know why. And then make sure to change the settings. Make sure to have the same settings of the timer. So duration 60 seconds. If you want longer, again, you can change the duration. But I have 60 seconds right now. Countdown direction. Countdown. Start at the game start off. Timer name none, can interact no, uh, exciting theme any, applies to everyone, success on timer and yes, completion behavior stop, visible during game only timer, display timer in a minute seconds, and show on HUD off. After this, you should add first device, which you should have here. It's called Builders Builds Reset Counter. Oh, and yeah, and I forgot another device, it's called explosive device it just drag and drop this thing change the settings so it can be damaged off blast radius 10 player damage 0 structure damage max explode uh, on proximity off display off and yeah and knock knock back to none play audio vfx off uh, show health bar off visible during the game off yeah and then just copy this device if you have a large mat, you know, if you have like, I don't know, red versus blue, you should have like 10 of them, you know. So just copy them and then just connect them to your array in the first device. Uh, then make sure to add reset build timer to the timer. And progress bar set to cinematic, cinematic device. Uh, by the way, right here you have the setting called duration. Make sure the duration is the same as the duration of the timer. So if you all have like seven minutes timer, make sure to change the, this duration. Uh, so it, because uh, if, if you want it to work, you should have the same duration. Then launch session after this. And, and while I'm waiting for Fortnite to launch, I will tell you about the pretty cool guy who made a video about the medallions, how you can make working medallions in UFA and use a verse. And yeah, You'll be able to find the link for this video uh, for his video in, in the description, and I will I recommend checking his video out because he showed how to make real working medallions in UFN. Okay, so I'm in Fortnite right now, and let's check this reset builds bar out. Yeah, so the bar is working, the timer is working, and let's see if the explosive devices will work. Okay, so four minutes left, and let's see if it works. Yeah, it does. So yeah, thanks guys so much for watching, and uh, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next one.